three residents of COVID-19 on the east bank of Demerara are involved in a controversy involving noise complaints, carbon emissions, and damage to property. They claim these issues have persisted for over a year due to a nearby service station situated between their two homes. On Friday, the residents aired deep frustration with a lack of resolution despite in-person visits and submitting letters of complaints to the relevant authorities. And a guy came with a truck in service, a truck in service, who is disturbing my health, destroying my health and also disturbing my peace. They are heavy repairs, morning, some mornings, you lie down in your house, you want to know which world you're in. And every time they are heavy rainfalls, all the sun, and they got the last area there under my house, which is causing severe clogging and, and, and water settling. I've engaged the chairman of the NDC, Arthur Pool. I've sent him videos, pictures. He has visited the site in my absence. So far, nothing has been done. Because when they're repairing the trucks, you've got a knife. When they're washing the trucks, it's a knife. So it's whole day nice, nice, nice all the time. Is that the only thing to happen, the knife to stop is that he got move out of there? That's the only thing. Also speaking to Nightly News, the manager of Elite Transport Trucking and IAP Service, who asked that his identity be withheld, denied causing any disturbance, health hazard, and damage to property. He said the trucks have silencers and efforts are in place to minimize any disturbance. The roof has no gutter, and the water eventually came over, and then when the water come here, it's been too much, it have nowhere to go. So it starts undermining the concrete and heading back over the fence. All these trucks here, is Euro 6 emission control truck, which came from the UK with Euro 6 emission standard, which means not a single truck in this yard don't give off a single smoke. There's one. Don't give off no smoke, no white smoke, no black smoke, nothing. Meanwhile, Chairman of Suzdai Covered End Neighborhood Democratic Council, Otto Paul, related that the council is aware of the issue and has made several interventions. He noted it was up to the residents to carry out agreed solutions. So here we are with these complaints. Um, but I believe every resident has a responsibility to ensure that you have proper drainage in your yard. And then they see have its own roles to deal with the major drains also. But yours, the one in your yard, will lead to the major drains that will take the water away. Paul added that although Mr. Padmore requested an NDC provided excavator for drainage work, Two excavators were in the area for two months, and Padmer only raised the issue after the machines were removed. He explained that the NDC only has tractors and trailers, and acquiring an excavator would require formal requests to the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, NDIA. Paul highlighted that while the NDC has a limited resources, they have attempted to address the concerns, and resolving the drainage issue would require proper procedures with the NDIA. I am Carice Gonzalez reporting for the H. GP, 90 News.